Salford as a town is hopelessly mixed up with Manchester, but Salford's people have a flavour and a character distinctly their own. It's produced more celebrities to the square mile than any town its size you'd care to think of. The first time I came to Salford to make this programme, I'd heard a lot about the place, how it was a cockpit of talent in the northwest. So many famous men and women had been born there. But I was very confused by the welter of signs everywhere. Salford, 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 they said, and I couldn't find it. Just the endless sprawl of Manchester suburbs. So eventually I stopped the car by a chap in a flat hat, and I said, can you help me? I I'm trying to find Salford. He said, you're in bloody Salford. And so I was. <laughs> that under this government there will be no unsustainable dashes for growth, no out-of-control booms, no risk-taking with inflation, no quick fixes, and no short-term manipulation of the economy for political ends. We will not return to boom and bust. Boom and bust. Boom and bust. Kick it, Kev. Got on the bus with me, they say, bar. Smoke the reefer in the corner. Laid low, did a grand theft, da da. In the 05 V6 Clio Twin Turbo. No hurry roll with our backseat hoes. Oh, we go. HSBC, we do them grass. We've got the money, cause we know how to rap. Yeah, that's a fucking other one, and we don't fuck about. Lovers, you mate, got shit yeah, on us, yeah? Pimpy. into a doctor's yeah. Doctor says to him, I've got some good news for you, got some bad news. So he's like, alright, alright, what's the bad news? Hurry up lads! Uh, alright. He says, well you got cancer. And so you got throat cancer, you've got bowel cancer. And it's like shit. He says, what's the good news? He says you got Alzheimer's you'll forget in a minute. Thank you. My friend, you don't like it spicy in there? No, 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 not for you. <laughs> no, you don't like it spicy? Eh? No, no, no. I thought you army boys were supposed to be brave. No, 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 no. Fucking move it! Uh, can you recommend anything, love? A pasty, perhaps? Nah, you're not right. Yeah, get on this. How'd you get a fat bird into bed? It's a piece of cake. Fuck off. You've had to look at a text to remember that. What a dick. In a mood. I'm not fucking happy, are you? You speak for hours on the phone when I'm away. And we come back and you say, fuck all to me. There's something I've got to tell you, but I don't want to tell you tonight. What I'm have you got me. to tell me? Hey? What? I'm pregnant. Is it mine? 
Is it mine? You are. Is that all you've got to say? No. Go on then. Tell me what's going on in that fucked up mind of yours. What do you want me to fucking say? Hey? What? I don't know. This is gonna be great, Amy. I'm so happy, Amy. I love you, Amy. Oh, what to say? It's just been a bit of fucking mental today. You're fucking mental. I'm always there for you. Are you crying? You want to come home? You don't want to go back? When you phone me up, are you scared? I'm fucking scared, Louis. Now you can't come in here without me. What? You talk, you'll have to take it off. What? And the bra. That'll have to come off too. Don't worry, you can pick it up from mine later. <laughs> Chill out, love. No trainers either, mate. Well, they ain't trainers. They look like trainers to me. They're white shoes, fella. They look like trainers to me. <laughs> no, mate, they're proud of 125 quid he paid for them. Then we dancing shoes, boys. Can't dance without them. IDs, please, lads. Is he taking the piss? That's what he wants in here now. It's fucking sick, though, isn't it? You look about 12. <laughs> and what's that? Army ID, mate. It's kosher. Ah. Not tonight, lads. What do you mean, not tonight, lads? He's 25. Pretty simple. Listen hard. Not tonight, lads. You speak English. What's that meant to me? It means not tonight, lads. Now, uh, jog on. Mate! What do you mean, alright? We always come in here. Yeah. And that's why we got shut down, innit? New management, new rules, no soldiers. Fuck off! Fuck. Look at the fucking pussy bastard! Oh Shit in it, God. lads! Lewis! No. Tomo, sort him out! Fucking hell! Fellas. We just got back from a stint. One of our looks, she, she didn't make it. Look, we're just out here to pay our respects. If you'd have seen the news, we're supposed to be toast to the town tonight. There would be no trouble, I promise. Look, I understand, mate. But somebody needs to tell Princess to calm down. All right. She still seems a bit upset by it all. Upset? Is he for fucking real? Take a fucking lead on him! What's your entire United? Go ahead! Go ahead! You're pulling red cord with this! Fuckers, I just need to go in there and see Amy. I've got fucking shit to sort out. Stop that. I'm gonna fucking have them all, what? Give him. She's not cheating. Fuck it up, not at all. She's 
Preggers. Have you made it? Shit. Yeah. yeah. It was a nice one, mate. Yeah, we nice. had something in it. Job Fucking hell, we, we should be out celebrating. Yeah. Well, fuck this shit, all. Could be a dad. Come on, yeah. Fucking lighten up a little, yeah? yeah? Jesus Christ. Are we gonna fucking have them or what? It's the same as you eat with these fuckers. Well, let's teach them a lesson. No one's gonna fucking do anyone. They've all just right? been racist, they'll let you in. Yeah, and you're not helping. You probably couldn't hear what he said, what with your head being so far up his ass. Fuck you! Whoa, whoa! Oh, it's fucking typical of this shit all, isn't it? You can't do fuck all anymore. You can't get a job because some police twat will do it for half the price. I, don't know that to I just want to get out. But my house ain't worth shit no more. So I come out for a beer, yeah? I can't even get a pint because some twat's on a power trip. All right! All right. I'll go in there, I'll see whether they'll let us get our lot out. I'll get Amy out because you're not getting in there now, alright? Fucking wankers. You what? You what? Nah, not you. I mean, the bouncers, innit? The dicks, the cocks. Yeah, you, Back you... from Iraq or what? Nah, Afghanistan. What, you boys just finished doing your fucking exams, have you? Yeah. 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 Sponging bastard shooting cunts, aren't you, eh? Oh, I mean, we respect you guys. Fuck it. Hey, just come here. Huh. If you're not letting anyone in, just come here. Just fuck it. I mean, I don't think I'd have the bollocks to do what you do. In fact, I'm fascinated by war. Are you going to let my mates in? I mean, I'm making a film about soldiers and the war on terror from fucking a dissertation. Steven Spielberg. They're fucking British soldiers. I can pretty summarise that film before it's even started. Tom's family made it down as well. I suppose it's going to be about some evil squaddies. Who kicked the fuck out and tortured poor innocent insurgents? I'm not going anywhere. You're having flashbacks all the raggeds they've slotted and the bad things they've done. Is that what it's about, eh, lad? Here, yeah, mate. Your missus has spoken. Is that what it's about, eh, lad? She's not my missus. Is it? What? Just get off me! Is that what it's about? I see you're not over yet. What? Get your fucking hands off her now! Come on! I speak in English now, Greg! I speak in English now! Yeah, come on, man, then. Come on. I'm oh, speaking to you now, Ryan! Come on, come on! Calm down! Lois! They're fucking fucking there! Right, you need to calm down and watch your language! My language! Fuck out! This is English speak! My language is not English speaking! It's not the people I call! Science and protecting! Alright! Alright! It's not the friends, wait! Officers, we're just out on the way! Everything's just a little tense. Stay the fuck out of it. Come on, leave it. We just want to play out. Our mates' families are in there. No, 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 we're soldiers. Tom, we fight for our country out, day to day. Come home expecting just a little bit of respect. Give us a only to be told that we can't come in because of that very fact. Well, you know what? You can fuck right off. Right. Why don't we just all calm down and walk away? Oh, I can do you for what? Drunk and disorderly? Disturbing the peace? It's up to you, lad. What do you want to do? Do you know what, mate? I'm going fucking nowhere! Come on! But in July, shortly after returning home to Wigan and going for drinks with friends, the defenceless war hero is brutally beaten by three police officers. In a case of mistaken identity, they believed he was being a nuisance to paramedics working nearby. Mark, clearly the worse for wear, drunkenly tries to speak with the officers. As can be clearly seen, he stands ten feet from them in the middle of the road as they stand near the pavement. Suddenly, the three police officers move as one and run across the road towards Mark, Startled, he falls over, and as he gets to his feet, one policeman rugby tackles him, and the other two help bundle him to the ground, where a vicious assault begins. Special Constable Peter Lightfoot, who weighs more than 20 stone,
bangs Mark's head on the road twice before leaning over and shouting into his ear while his two police colleagues kneel on Mark's legs to restrain him. Mark, in pain and self-defence, gets one arm free and manages to bite one of the officer's legs. His punishment is fierce and immediate. The officer concerned pushes him in the face with his booted foot while Lightfoot grabs Mark's hair and repeatedly scrapes his face on the tarmac. These are the shocking injuries that he was left with. Yet still the attack goes on. Even though Mark is lying unmoving on the ground, Lightfoot rains punches on his victim. He hits him twice, checks to see who is watching, and then punches him another six times on the back and shoulder joint with all his might. Lightfoot stops the beating only as people driving past slow down their cars to watch what is happening. After nine horrifying minutes of brutality, the three officers finally throw Mark in the back of a police van, which drives him off to the cells.